Yandere Simulator is supported by the following sponsors. Something is wrong with me. For as long as I can remember, I've always felt empty, incomplete, like a part of me is missing. This hollow feeling has dominated my life. I've never been able to feel anything else. My world has always been cold, dark, silent. My mother was exactly like me when she was a child, but when she met my father, everything changed for her. He brought warmth and color and life into her world. He made her complete. She told me that one day, I'd meet someone special, just like she did. Someone who would cure me, fix me, save me. I've spent my entire life waiting for that day, dreaming of the moment when I'd meet the person who would complete me. It was the only thing for me to look forward to. It was my only reason to live. And then... One day, I found him. When I met him, something changed inside of me. My world was filled with color and light. It was like I had opened my eyes for the first time. I felt warm. I felt complete. I felt alive. He is my escape from the cold, gray, empty world I've been trapped in. He is the one I've been waiting for. The person I want to spend the rest of my life with. But... Someone is trying to take him from me. She wants him, but not in the same way that I want him. She could never appreciate him the way I do. She doesn't deserve him. He belongs to me. I have to stop her, even if it means hurting her even if it means killing her. There is nothing I won't do for him. I won't let anyone come between us. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care who I have to hurt. I don't care whose blood I have to spill. I won't let anyone take him from me. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. He will be mine. He doesn't 
have a choice. Hey, do I know you? I saw you stalking an upperclassman today. I'm sorry, there must be some misunderstanding. There's no need to play dumb with me. I'm trying to help you. Want some information about the girl he was with? I'm listening. Her name is Osana Najimi. She has a crush on him. She's planning to confess to him next Friday, underneath the cherry tree behind the school. There's a myth that if you confess your love to someone underneath that tree, the person you confess to can't refuse. Why are you telling me this? I would be happy if something bad happened to Osana-chan. I think you might be the right person to give her what she deserves. Who are you? Have you ever heard of Infochan? An urban legend about a girl who hacks people and sells their dirty secrets to the highest bidder. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I sell a lot more than just blackmail. Are you trying to tell me that you're Infojan? Do you really expect me to believe that? I've installed an app on your phone. Take a look. How did you do that? That's not something you need to be concerned with. If you do a few small favors for me, I can offer a wide variety of services that should help you eliminate Osana-chan. Everything you need to know is in that app. And what if I don't want anything to do with you? If you're not interested in my services, I won't take it personally. Feel free to ignore me, but don't ignore Osana-chan. You have one week until she confesses to your precious senpai. Make her suffer. pain, senpai. I'm sorry. I can't believe you overslept again. It's just like back in middle school. I'm sorry. I'm not your personal alarm clock, you know. You can't rely on me to wake you up every day. I'm sorry. If it bothers you so much, maybe we should stop walking to school together. No, that, that's not what I... Just forget it, okay? Anyway, I want you to meet me on the school rooftop at lunchtime. Got it? Huh? Why? Stop being so difficult! Just be there, alright? And don't keep me waiting. Okay, okay. I'll be there. Good! Um, Osana, don't you think you were a bit... harsh? I know, I feel so bad about it, but I didn't do it on purpose, it just... happened. Every time I think he's about to realize how I feel about him, I get afraid he'll reject me. It makes me feel so scared, I, I start saying stuff to make him think I don't like him. Why do I have to be this way? Why can't I just be honest with him? Don't beat yourself up over it, Osana. It'll be okay. Everything is going to work out fine. I sure hope so.
idea. Maybe I shouldn't do this. What if he doesn't like it? Don't worry, I'm sure he's going to love it. I hope so. I just... I just want to make him happy. You will. Come on, let's go hang out. about the boy you like. What made you fall for him? It's funny, actually. He's not my type at all. I just... slowly developed feelings for him over time. I didn't even realize it was happening. So, what is your type, then? You mentioned that you like guys with tans, but what else do you like to see in a guy? Well, I think it's kinda hot when that guy has a ponytail. I think boys with glasses are super cute. And if a guy has piercings... <sighs> I just melt! Um, don't get me wrong. Looks aren't everything. For example, I can't get along with someone if they're dumb as a rock. So really the most important thing is intelligence. Oh, and he has to love cats. If he's a dog person, we're completely incompatible. say anything yet. I need some time to think. I might be ready to talk about it when classes are done for the day. Somewhere private. Maybe a rooftop? Behind the air vents? Okay. I'll wait until you're ready to talk. Would you like to take a stroll around the school to take your mind off of it? You still haven't joined a club yet. Maybe we can check out the club rooms. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds nice. Sure. Let's do it. What do you think of this club? Everyone in this club seems really nice. And I've always wanted to get better at cooking. Right now, it's kind of my top choice. But I think I should check out the other clubs before I decide.
Have any thoughts about this club? Uh, I don't know. The people in this club are kind of... Well, I don't want to sound rude, but they're just not my crowd. What do you think of this club? Ugh. This place gives me the creeps. I'm not even sure why the school allows this club to exist. Next club, please. about this club? Seriously? Video games? <laughs> really? Who still plays video games after middle school? Like, grow up already! What's your opinion on this club? I guess I don't really have a strong opinion about it either way. I mean, I guess I'd consider it, but it wouldn't really be my first choice, you know? How about this club? Ooh, this club is so cool! Everyone here is so talented! But I can't play any instruments, so... I wouldn't really fit in. I think I'd better look for a different club. Would this club suit you? Hmm. Well, it could be fun, but I've never really thought of myself as an artist. I'm sure it's a nice club and all, but... I think another club would be a better fit for me. Can you see yourself in this club? Oh, I've heard about these guys. Their club is supposed to be about photography, but they spend all their time just goofing around. No, I'd want to be in a club that takes itself seriously. Do you think you'd enjoy this club? What's with this place anyway? It wasn't here last year. The doors are always locked. But it sounds like there's someone inside. Ugh, it gives me the creeps. Let's go. Are you interested in this club? <sighs> oh man. The only place that might scare me more than the occult club. I'm genuinely worried that one of their crazy experiments is going to blow up the school one day. to join this club? You know, I actually think this club looks really fun. But it, it would be really awkward to be the only girl in the club. I guess I'll pass.
What do you make of this club? You're joking. What's with you? Right? I'm going to assume that was a joke. What? Let's get out of here. I don't feel safe around them. What's with you? I'm not in the mood for this. What do you think of this club? Oh, this is another one of my top choices. Everyone here is so friendly, and I've always wanted to try gardening. I'll give it some thought. Well, I'm not ready to decide which club I want to join, but I feel way better after taking a walk with you. Thank you so much for being there for me. It was my pleasure. I'm really glad to hear that you feel better. Come on, let's go. Okay, Osana. It's time. You can do this. Okay, I'm here. Just like you asked. H here What's this? It's a bento, stupid! You made me lunch? Don't get the wrong idea! I didn't make it for you! I just... made too much food this morning! So you can have the extras! Oh, cool! Thanks a lot! Just shut up and eat it! Wow! This is delicious! R really You... you like it, Senpai? Yeah! It's great! That's right! You should be grateful! But don't expect me to keep giving you free food! And unless you... you want to eat my cooking every day... Hmm? What was that? I, I didn't say anything! D dummy your phone call earlier today. You sounded really upset. Is something wrong? I... well... yeah. I do have a problem, but... 
but I'm not really sure if you'd be able to help me. Please, tell me what's wrong. I'll listen. A few days ago, in Shisuta town, this weird guy approached me and started flirting with me. He was really creepy and gross, and I wasn't interested in him at all. It took forever to make him leave me alone. The next day, I started getting text messages from him, even though I never gave him my phone number. The worst part is, he keeps texting me pictures that he's taken of me. It's like he's just following me around and snapping photos all day. You've got a stalker? Oh my god, that's horrible. You need to tell the police before he does something bad. No, I can't do that. He told me that if I go to the police, he'll... He'll... What? What will he do? I... I don't want to tell you, but... But calling the police is not an option. What is it? Is he blackmailing you? Are you hiding some kind of secret? No, it's nothing like that. Osana, I try to avoid talking about this, but I'm actually very strong. If you tell me who is doing this to you, I'll stop them. What? No, I don't want you to get involved. Look, I appreciate your concern, but please, just let me deal with this myself. If you say so, but now I'm really worried. <sighs>